Hello everyone. So we have a guest. So sa mga nanonood sa YouTube. Say hi. Tingnan niyo kung gaano ka cute yung guest namin. We Say talk, hi. We talked about you baby. The other day. Ay, was that yesterday? Oh, the other day. We talked about you. Say hi. Yun. Mm, the the nicest siya. dog ever. Okay. Okay, wait lang. I have a lot to say. <laughs> Na, ano siya? I have a lot to Affected say. Affected siya, guys. guys. I've been doing this a long time. Si CK, parang medyo first yeah, okay. time na. Okay, so first off, guys, I'm in a good mood today. Uy! This is such a good episode. Or actually, baka nga hindi magandang episode kasi good mood kit. No, actually. anyway, yeah. Okay, I'm so sorry. I want to say sorry also. If sobrang pikunin ko the other day, but... Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Inaamin ko naman, pikunin ako. But, um... Ano ba? Okay, so yun. Good mood ako today. So, ayun. Sorry if I was sungit, babe. Sorry if I was sunny, Um, next. And dami na DM sa akin saying I was dense. And then I was so affected, Jay. Hindi pa siya sanay sa haters. No, eh. it's not that. Hindi pa siya sanay no, sa haters. No, some friends yung... of ours told me na who yan dense mo naman. But then uh. um ito kasi siya, guys. Na-realize ko na like na, na puzzle out ko na siya or Nag-gets ko yung tinatry na sabihin ni Mikey. And nag-gets ko yung nafe-feel ng mga lalaki. I don't think I don't think it's dense eh. I don't think that's the right term eh. I don't know, but I think you just try to convince yourself. Which is a good thing. You see the good in ed- everyone. So you try to convince yourself na hindi, walang mali siya to. Mabait lang talaga siya. Yeah, so... Which could be taken as ignorance as well. But yeah, yun nga. Um, yeah, some people called me dense. And I was like... It's, hindi ko pinipilit na yung guys would take my side and say na, oh, wala yan. I understand what you guys are trying to say and I process it already. Na parang, if boys will, like, boys will understand boys. So, gets, if ganun yung pagkakaintindi nyo dun sa friend ko, then baka nga tama kayo. Yeah. But like, you're trying to see the good in it kasi. Yeah, no, I mean. Pero it's part of the process of growing up. No, I, I get it naman. That's up. what I I want to tell people lang now na I get what you're trying to say. I get you guys. Like, na-process ko naman siya ng maayos and hindi ko naman dini-deny. It's just that I will not confirm or validate what you guys are saying. Kasi, di ba parang ang ano naman nun? Na parang, feeling mo naman. Oh, parang ah, ganun. Tama, and at tama, the tama. same time, may mga girls na nag-react na parang they also feel that way to some friends na Ayaw, parang, mo lagyan, ayaw mo lagyan ng meaning. Yeah, parang Kasi you ayaw mong guys mo also na. need to give it to me na I am speaking na babae ako, this is what I feel. It's just that, yeah. wala eh, like, eto ah, like, yung nafe-feel ko around him is just nothing. As in, nothing na, parang walang mali siya from him, hindi ko nafe-feel na may mali siya. Some people told me na parang, baka kasi he was really good at hiding and maybe he really wanted to try. Wow, dahil mo nakausap ah. Kasi nga, ang dami nyo nga nagsasabi sa akin and ang dami sa inyo nag agree But then, if we look back no, I sa think episode, we weren't arguing naman. We're not arguing, we're not arguing. I think, I think it was just a clip. Those are clips that are taken out of context. You have to watch the whole thing. Oh, yeah. Siyempre, pinaganda ko yun. Nilagyan ko ng sound effects. Nilagyan. Come on, guys. This is social media. You have to, you know, yeah. you have to play around a little bit. Manipulate it a little bit para mas maging interesting yung clip. But, yeah. parang I think you just, you just have to go through that process. And, normal naman yun eh. Like, even guys, flip it, even guys, when we were younger, we were convincing ourselves na walang mali siya. Hold on. Tama, mali. Tama, mali. Mga kalalakihan dyan na kaedad ko. Noong bata tayo, kinoconvince natin sarili natin na hindi, wala lang to. So, ganun din yun. I think it's the same thing. Girls or you, in particular, when you were younger, you would convince yourself na walang mali siya yung lalaki. Guess what? Guys din ganun. Guys din ganun. Nung bata kami, we convince ourselves na walang mali siya to, walang mali siya to. Sus, mari yusip. Diba? So, anyway, that was a fun episode though. And we just want to thank everyone who yeah. supported our first episode. Sobrang overwhelming yung support dun sa first episode na yun. Yeah. Sobrang overwhelming. Yeah. Ang bilis nung kagat ng tao dun sa content na nilalabas yeah. natin. I think it was because of the how we built our image then to 
to sa social media na parang ito yung dalawang makulit madaldal so yeah i think so okay, and also start. I, i made a rant hindi naman rant i made a post um instagram story last night so today is the second day of the video being up the first ano so next story ako and i said na which by the way bago mo start story na yan so this so para na sa mga youtubers diyan mag-start ng youtube You need 4,000 watch hours to be monetized and 1,000 subscribers. We have 2,800 subscribers at the moment, if I'm not mistaken. I reached 4,000 watch hours nung shoot ng Mikey TV mm. in less than a month. So I was super proud, less than a month. I think we're gonna reach with one episode monetize na tayo after that first episode. I'm not even joking. That's really? why it's super super ano kami, appreciative. Okay, go. Sorry. Kwento mo na. Okay, so ayun nga, I, I posted an Instagram story last night and I was looking through my phone kasi I was browsing through my phone and then I saw the um a picture of me um what do you call this? Doing our logo 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 for sa totoo lang and I made it myself sa Canva. So wala na, it was just a senti moment because this is our second try in putting up our our podcast together. And then I I said there na during that time, that was the time na Mikey was recovering pa lang from his operation, hernia operation. And then babalik pa lang din siya sa work because he had to rest. And then me, I was grieving the loss of my loved ones because of COVID. Basically that time was parang ang blur yeah. like it's Medyo. something na I wouldn't want to look back especially kung mga parang yung yung hurt or yung pain ko from that um from that what do you call this season parang ayoko siyang balikan just covid related para lang ano yeah yeah covid related yeah I I told kanina na yeah it was because of covid and then shoot for started also at same ano eh, kasi September yun eh mm, oh so shoot for started di ba September September then. So Mikey had to focus sa shoot first. I was, I landed, I think, my first two freelance gigs. First ever freelance gigs. Same time. So, hindi namin natuloy si sa totoo lang. And I remember we shared one mic, your... Yeah, this one. Yung mic yeah. ko sa, sa shoot first. Ito, yeah, the... Ta, 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 ta. Ay, hindi aabot. Hindi aabot din. But yeah, ito si so, Mike na kasama. Na two-sided, sa, two-sided. Tama ba 'yun? Uh, sabi ko two-sided. So it would be in the middle tapos kailangan yung setup namin Mag-arab side view. Kami. Oo, kasi yung mic magkaharap. Which by the way, shout out sa lahat ng sumuporta nung mic drive namin mm. for shoot first. Yeah, so ayun, nakaka-senti because during that time, feeling ko talaga it wasn't our time yet to put up our podcast. We had to Kumbaga, build. Th- yeah, th- parang individually we had to do stuff on our own muna. And then now, ready na. na. Yeah, we're ready. We have happy. these stuff from people ready na, na. Ready na ba tayo? Na. Ready na ba tayo? Na mag-podcast? Na, pod- ah, okay, podcast. Okay, okay. Ready so, ka so. na? Mag-podcast? Oo oh, naman. Tagal na ako Proposal na podcast Proposal tips. <laughs> Madaming nag-tag sa akin dun sa post mo sa Instagram. Which by the way, follow us on all social media platforms. <laughs> Hi baby. Sorry guys. Hi, baby. Sobrang cute talaga Sorry, nandito baby. lang siya nakaharap sa. So, ang tawag mo doon? Um, what was what you saying? But yeah, oh. yun nga. Um I am also very grateful not just to you guys. Syempre, lalo sa inyo me and Mikey, but also ako kay Mikey because I wouldn't be like embracing this public speaking whatever this is if you it know wasn't what's funny for him. Was because when I met you and then you started to be out there a little bit. With you kasi, with CK kasi, nung na-meet ko siya, she was very on social media. Parang tinatago niya yung, parang kikay siya sa social media, guys. Parang, eh, ano niya, um, she was super worried about her image na kailangan super wholesome, super, um, ano tawag mo doon? Demure. Tama ba? Demure? Basta pa-cute. Yun na lang, pa-cute. Yeah. Like, her her posts were always aesthetic. Her posts were always ma-arte. That's why when I was talking her on Instagram, before I even met her or I talked to her, ang unang past instinct ko was, ay ano to? Ma-arte? Like, you know, aesthetic? Like, ganon. So, 
nung nakilala ko na siya, then I saw her side na medyo makulit, na magulo din. I was like, bakit hindi mo, yan yung hindi mo portray sa social media. So she had this other um, thinking, perception of social media na you have to act a certain way. You have to portray a certain um, image. Tama, di ba? On social media yeah. na medyo... And then ako si yun, babe. Okay, go ahead. You yeah. first. So when I met her and then I got to know, I saw her real personality behind social media, behind the camera. Doon ko nakikita na makulit, madaldal, ganyan-ganyan. So people would tell me when she was started to, you know, put herself out there, her real self. Her former, I, her friends na nakilala ko na lang that, uh, that have known her for a while would tell me na parang buti na lalabas na ni CK yung ganyan niya. So I think the year that you're talking about from starting and getting, um, failing the first time we put out a podcast was, number one, I needed to learn to podcast. Mm-hmm. Because that was also the start of Shoot First. I never yeah, yeah. podcasted before before that. So I needed to learn to podcast. And you, parang you got out of your shell in that year. And then when she started doing IG lives, when she started no, hosting, annoying. pero dun ko sinabi na parang, babe, parang ready na tayo. Kasi the oh, yeah, first podcast so. that we were doing, doing? Doing? Doing. When we were doing, parang ano ka pe, naiya ka pe. Tapos nung nakikita ko nung nag-IG live siya, mas masipag pa nga siya sa akin mag-IG live eh. Yeah. Kaya niya magsalita ng dalawang oras tuloy-tuloy, guys. I was like, okay, ready na tayo. So, I think that was the preparation we needed. I think so. And at the same time kasi, um, with what you said na during that, that was, t- ano ata yun eh? To. <laughs> kasi sumasabit yung iniinom ko eh. Kunin mo naman yung cheese natin. <laughs> okay, so... This may or may not Wait, be... Wait, kasi Okay lang yan. This so, may or may not be, ano... Okay, yeah. so... Yung sinasabi yung Mikey, that was 2019. That was a time na nag-rise pa lang yung influencers, quote-unquote, influencers. So, syempre, me also, ano ko nun, very... Um, yung pa naintindihan yung world. <coughs> I also didn't understand the world, to be honest. <laughs> Aesthetic kasi noon, yeah. and then... Photos syempre, kasi noon! Oh, pictures wala noon, pang walang videos, reels, so. walang... It was... It was your typical, you get a PR package. And people also from advertising would say na, um, wala pa nun na bayad, ganyan. People weren't really earning that much. So, yun. And then, I was always, ano naman talaga, kumbaga, madaldal naman talaga ako. It's just that, walang, avin- walang avenue. I, I never, pero walang avenue talaga oh, ng time na Pero I never saw it naman. Even when I met you, but kasi I didn't want. Ikaw talaga oh, you were doing YouTube. Oh, pakiramdam mo parang that's Mikey's world. That's not mine. Ganun siya. That's Mikey's world. Yeah, yeah, it was just like sabi ko sa kanya, I'd always be the one na mag-aayos ng any, anything that you need, ganyan. But ako, as a person, madaldal lang talaga ako. And then si Mikey, siya nagturo na pagkakitaan mo yung kadaldalan mo. So, I think maybe Dito that's na why. Napapraning ako na bakit parang color pink siya. I don't know. Is your red? Pero na gumagano naman. So I yeah. guess that yes, that's working. Anyway, um, so oh by the way, na ice cream audio ko kasi sabi nga napansin daw nung mga yeah, tao. Yeah, and even dun. my mom texted right napansin now. Napansin daw na. Ayusin yung audio. Ang hina ng audio ni Mike. Okay, so ngayon inayos ko siya. Hopefully it's it's better now. Inakit ko ng konte. Actually, conscious ako sa boses ko, kaya ako hinaan yung akin nila kasi ako yung isa kanya. Because I know I speak loud. No, so I think masadong ko atang binabat. You speak loud, but then your mic kasi was far from you. Okay, your... okay. So anyway. Um, so yun. So now that we're, you know, in a, at a point na medyo mas... Again, sometimes your idea is not bad if it fails. Sometimes mm-hmm. it's just not the right time. Yeah. So if you fail, the first time you try it out, don't think na hindi para sa'yo yung... Yeah. Baka hindi pa time. Yeah. And now kasi it feels like... So natural now. Like for, for me, it feels as if... Ano, kumbaga... Kasi lagi, ako, ano kasi akong tao eh, di ba babe, na parang I would always look back from the past. Oh, ma, ano kaya, lagi, ano tama, sentimental, oh, sentimental. Oo, oh, na talagang eh. lahat yan, naaalala ko, believe me, lahat yan, lahat, lahat talaga. I was always like that. So, kumbaga na, comparing this from yung sa, sa totoo lang, now it Layo feels na. like, oh, yeah. kasi noon parang naiinis pa ako. Eh. Noon naiinis pa ako kay Mikey kasi sabi ko sa kanya, ayoko talaga kasi... Oh, Sabi ko, paano ko i-enter? Paano ko magsasalita? Hindi siya marun mag-intro, mag-extro. I, I remember may may episode ata doon na I made you intro, galing na galit ka pa eh, na parang, I don't know how. 
Yeah, and mm-hmm. then at the same time, I told him na it doesn't make sense to me to be talking sa parang life, love, whatever Feeling na podcast. Wala experience. Because, oh, but it's funny because you've been a, you've always been a big fan of vloggers, um, what do you call this? Uh, podcasters yeah. like Skypod again. Mas nakikinig ka pa nga ng podcast even before I started listening to mm. podcasts. So, oh yeah, that's right. Yun. And again, thank you very much for the support and hopefully we can, you know, continue to do this and we are very happy because of of number one, the the antaw mo the engagement na nakukuha namin from everyone and also the messages the good words, the kind words na sinasabi niyo. Bakit parang pumuti ako dun? Okay, wait. Nawala yung... F- ah, kasi wala ka. Ah, social yung camera natin. Sabi na nga ba, sulit yung 250,000 na camera. Ay, grabe ka. Wala, <laughs> wala pa nga yung ano eh. Ilang digits yan. Wala Kalo, pa six digits. Kala mo, Slater yung eh. <laughs> sulit talaga yung 50,000 na ring light natin dito. Uy! Inayos niyo yung mga... Ano, Ay, hindi pala kayo nag-ayos. Thank you nga pala dun sa Inayos Ming Maika. Thank you very much. Whatever, baby. Tapos yung us. editor natin dyan nanonood. Eh. Sorry ah, yung 100 square meter studio namin dito parang ano eh. Inaayos lang namin. Hindi na namin marinig. Anyway, um, sobrang ganda nung... In- what do you call that? Yung... Ano ba tawag dun? What do you, what, yung what do you ano nila, yung pagtanggap nila dun sa first episode namin. Ano ba tawag dun? Pagtanggap? Hindi, <laughs> English yung iisip ko eh. <coughs> How people received. Uh-huh. <laughs> Para namang basic lang naman yun. Anyway, um, and that, and the messages, the questions, the reactions, and yun. Minsan nagugulat pa din tayo na mayroon pala nalaga nakikinig. And yeah. so, because of that, we put out our email yeah, we, for we ano, tbh.ckmikey at gmail.com. You can send in your questions, topics, and um, discussions. Yeah. And kwento! Ito yung so ito yung, I think we already explained the vibe of this podcast anyway from the start no ano so and you can follow also please sa TikTok that's tbh.ckmikey and Spotify and of course YouTube okay so there we had a um, couple of emails already yeah from the other day hanggang <coughs> today a couple yeah, of the emails yeah, yeah, the other day. and we'll try to answer as no, much actually, as we babe, can we received emails last night. Because last night like air yung episode. Ayo oh, last night lang pala, sorry. So we've had four emails or five already no, no since more. last night. So we'll try to not answer it. Eh, kasi hindi naman siya technically questions yeah. about us. Eh. It's or it's more or less stories na dinadaan yeah. nila that hopefully all of us as a as a community may may can this be the TBH community? Oh, yeah. my shoot first community, my TBH community. So the community we can all we'll try to chime in. And listen na mag-vivent yung mga kaibigan natin. Alright. Yeah. Let's uh, tago one. natin yung mga pangalan yeah. nila dun sa first name lang para may <coughs> ano-ano. I ano chose one. Uh. And this is something na nabasa mo. I think this was the second email. Second email. Okay. What's yeah. his, what's his so her name? So send that. <coughs> Wala. Pwede kahit first name lang para lang may shoutout. Para lang. Hindi. Uh, ano na lang. Um, AKA. Sige, sige, wag na lang. Alam mo naman ako sino okay. kay Para lang may ano. Baka, <laughs> lang, lang, baka ano? kasi yung <coughs> pinag-uusapan niya, yeah, yeah. Oh, baka so na- man- manood din. So they're making kwento kasi about... Sa Skypod ba hindi sinasabi? Hindi. Ah, okay. Sige, gaya natin so, yun. Yun ang pig eh. <laughs> sa Skypod kasi, they call it Letters from the Sky. Oh, kasi Skypod tayo. ka, Sky Fam. Letters, they have their fam. So ano tayo? Uh, TBH. Wala muna. Letters from Honesty. Letters. May nagtanong nga, what does TBH mean? To be honest, come To be honest. Actually, okay, wala. Anyway. Na, so, this was sent at 12.42 a.m. So, I think this was after... Feeling ko, this was after he, he, he watched the two-hour uh, episode, he, no? He wow. watched okay. the ano, episode. So, he said, Hi, Siki and Mikey. I recently met this woman whom I easily get comfortable with. We have been dating for almost six months. We have this kind of setup in which we can tell everything to each other. I wanted us to be each other's safe place. Before dating her, she had a relationship which ended in not so bad terms. Not wait, not so bad. <clears throat> Sorry. Not so bad, so okay naman. Mm-mm. Good terms. Okay. And because we are open, almost every time we get to talk about her ex. Recently I felt that it is not helping in my end that most of her topics are about her ex. And she honestly admitted that sometimes, even if we are dating, some things just always reminds her about her ex. Hold on. 
My problem is I am confused on what to feel. I know she is still moving on with her ex. For the past six months, I have been giving it all my best and I have been 100% transparent. Do I still continue or should I just stop? And you ano pala neto, guys? I, I forgot to say yung subject niya, kaya talaga nakuha yung attention namin ni Mikey was rebound? Question mark. Rebound? Uh, uh, medyo na ano kami doon, parang, uy, magandang topic. Which, by the way, we didn't read it. We didn't read it until now. I skimmed through it. You suck. No, because we had... I know, I know, I know. I know, I know. But I didn't read it. So ngayon ko lang narinig yung story. Yeah. So, okay. So, six months na sila nag-date. Yeah. Yun yung hindi nasama sa, sa letter. Yung how long from the breakup to the nag-start silang lumabas. I, hindi siya... Hindi nasama, no? Oo, oh, hindi So, hindi natin alam if it was a long time ago yung nag... Oh, six months sila. Ay, six months na sila lumalabas. They're dating for six yeah. months. Yeah, and then we don't know how long she was with the ex. Mm-hmm. We don't know how long before they started that six months together. Mm-hmm. So, medyo hindi ko lang. Kasi, pwedeng one year na yun, mm-hmm. you started going out, pero nakahang on pa rin dun sa dati. Iba yun dun sa kakabreak lang nila, one month pa lang, nag-meet kayo, nag-start yung six months. May, may difference eh. So, we'll just assume malapit. Mm-hmm. Diba? We'll just assume yeah. malapit. Yeah. Kasi parang yun naman yung vibe ng kwenta, diba? So, Ayaw, mahirap yun ah. Okay. So, eto guys, with every letter that we would read here, kasi syempre, maybe sometimes hindi kami magbabasa, sometimes meron na kami naisip tapos pag-uusapan namin. So, with the letters, we would, kumbaga, pag-uusapan namin siya in a way na i-explain din namin kung paano namin naintindihan yung letter nyo. So, hindi kami magsasabi. Kasi yung iba ata parang, I know this happens a lot since ako yung nakikinig talaga ng mga ganitong klase. So, some people would say na, kumbaga, hindi nyo kasi alam yung buong story. Ya yeah, nga, hindi nga namin yeah, alam. Yun yung pinadali. Hindi na namin uh, so, kasalanan kumbaga, yun. Yun yung pinadali. Yung reaction namin ni Mikey, based on that lang, what, um, whatever we say about um, their stories, ganyan. You only know what you only know. Yeah. So, <laughs> so that's babe, all we know <laughs> what's ano this is something oh. kasi na for I me this is something na tayo mismo na napag-usapan natin yeah. before because again Mikey is my first boyfriend and I ha- had no exes before him so kumbaga sa akin mga may fling oo syempre yeah. naging wag, mata wag, 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 naging wag niyong isipin naman na fling na in a not a fling in our age, guys. Uh, fling in a younger age. I have oh, another but, meaning of fling. No, baka isipin kasi, sa amin kasi, baby, yung fling, so medyo alam mo fling? naman, alam mo naman ang fling ng matanda eh. Hindi naman fling na ganun. You had flings in like first year college, high school. Kumbaga, iba yung fling sa fling namin, baby. Yung fling so namin medyo, F- may physical F- eh. F- oh, may ganun. F- oh, tama, F- fling yun. May, mm. may friends with benefits, may um open relationship yan ang mga fling di ba okay, yung so, kayo pag magkasama <coughs> kayo pag hindi kayo magkasama really? o private hindi nila hindi niyo hindi niyo i disclose sa mga tao na kayo hindi kayo magpo-post may mga fling na ganun so uh, that's what para lang sure yung fling mo was a puppy love kind of fling not even no, puppy, love, puppy not even love. love let's say um infatuation hindi rin di ba ba ano ba fling kasi for us is para kayo MU, ganun. Yun, yung MU na hindi na natin ginagamit yan. Tayong matatanda. So, yeah. there's just a difference. Ayoko lang isipin nila na, <laughs> baka isipin nila I don't know. Fling. I don't know that. I don't know. Ayan. May mga so, fling na medyo pang mas matanda. Yun, kumbaga ako, may mga fling-fling din naman ako. College, high school, ganyan. But it was very, ano siya talaga, kumbaga, pang, pang high school, pang yeah. college, kilig-kilig, ganun. Yeah. So, when I read this, naalala ko how Mikey and I talked about exist before. Kumbaga, kasi I had like, we, ano, di ba? I had uh, wala pa ako. Pareho mm, tayong wala pang ex. Babe naman. It's ano naman. <laughs> Let's be honest naman. TBH, <laughs> parang ang dami. <laughs> <laughs> parang ang dami, babe. Okay, so, Mikey and I, when we started dating, um, kumbaga, we had to make it clear yung topic about exes. Kasi, kumbaga, Again, hindi pala to yung ano, natandaan ko. 
when we tried to do a, ano, ang tawag yun? Parang trial podcast. Hindi pala na-upload. But sinabi ko na, Mikey is 10 years older than me. So, Mikey has more experience than me. So, siya, pag meron kaming pinag-uusapan, yung basis ng mga sinasabi niya sa akin, or kumbaga kung ano sinasabi niya, is yung experience niya. And hindi na iiwasan na talagang, like, I think, kailan ba? Sa podcast ata natin, our first podcast, na mentioned ka din about your experiences, di ba, with your past rela- relationships. Mm. I believe kasi that the best lessons come from experiences. So, you cannot, Kumbaga, kung ex, let's say, ex ko. Mm. Yung mga exes ko. Not because I use those as, as kumbaga, the, the reason that I will treat you like this now is because of my past mistakes or my past experiences. It doesn't mean na hanga pa ko dun. Kumbaga, mm. pakatotoo lang tayo. Experience is, ano eh, is the best teacher. Eh. So, if I completely forget about that ex and completely forget about everything I've learned, my mistakes, um, yung kung paano niya ako tinrato or paano ko siya tinrato, then how will I be better for my present or yeah. my future? Mm-mm. So, yeah. Um, we, we had to make that. Pattern. I had to make it clear with her. Yeah, kasi, ano, kumbaga, syempre, Ako din man kahit din man yung mga fling-fling. I would always... Nakwento ko din naman kay Mikey. And um, most of them kasi, kumbaga, ano pa eh, in a way, hindi naman nakakahalubilo. Pero syempre, parang kaibigan din namin parehas. So, ba So parang... Ay, yung mga fling mo. Ay, yung mga ex ko, wala na yun. X na yun, hindi natin kaibigan yun. Okay, okay. No, yun nga eh. Doon ako pupunta. Okay, 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 like, okay, okay, we okay. had to, okay. Just to be clear. So, so for us, kasi, this is what, this is how we, um, paano ba, take, or this is our take sa mga excess. So, kanina actually, very timely because when I was driving kanina, yung topic ni Sky Podcast was about, the same then, kasi parang, may letter send, hindi siya letter center. Basta yung story niya was about exes din. So for us kasi ni Mikey, honestly, okay lang sa akin, since si Mikey may ex eh, okay lang sa akin na napag-uusapan namin yung Time mga out. ex. What? Time out. I have to make it clear. I never bring them up. Mm-mm. I never bring up good experiences with my ex. Because oh. that's what will make you feel insecure. Mm-mm. yun yung may chance may insecure yung kausap mo is because paano kung sabihin ko uy yung ex kong ganito sobrang galing sa ganito sobrang bait ni ganito sobrang Mm-mm. chicks ni ganito can't say those things yeah. I usually bring them up in moments that need that she needs enlightenment when it comes to relationships ito yung ginagawa ko dati na mali mm-hmm. that I realized since and now I'm... Kaya, ako, sa totoo lang, guys, the boy, the boyfriend that she, CK has right now, I'll be completely honest, is the boyfriend that all my exes wanted during that time. Diba, I've always told you that. Mm-hmm. That yung gusto nila na hindi ko mabigay sa kanila. Maybe I was too immature. Maybe I was too young. Maybe, maybe I just didn't want to change for them. Mm-hmm. Is exactly the guy that... Not man exactly, but factor yung mga yun to who I am now with with CK. So, sorry baby ah, yung madaldal kami. Daldal si mamit si daddy. <laughs> so, yun yung difference. I don't bring them up randomly na, babe, dito ko ba kumain ng ex ko? Hindi ka, di, di ganun. Medyo ano yun. Medyo X yung ganun. Never yun. It's more of during times that, you know, we need to understand. Kunyari siya, may, May kailangan niya maintindihan kung saan, saan ako trauma. Minsan trauma ako sa mga ganyan bagay. So, I would make her understand na ganito, ganito. Sorry kasi in my past, medyo ano pa yun, um, trauma ako sa ganyan. Or siya din naman, meron din siya na ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. So, yun lang. Never in a way na ma-insecure siya. Mm-hmm. Medyo ano yun. Medyo ekis. Wala naman atang, imposible naman na lamang yung present mo in all facets of life, lamang dun sa past mo, imposible. So why are you even gonna bring up the the parts of your past na pwede siyang ma-insecure or pwede siyang makulangan sa sarili niya na 
So never yun. Yun lang. I just wanted to clear that up that when we do talk about past relationships, it's because we need to use it to be better or to fix something. Mm -hmm. Mga isipin nila, out of the blue, parang. Hindi. <laughs> no, kasi, okay. This is how it is for us, eh. Um, one of Mikey's exes is, kumbaga, in the same industry as him. Ish. Hindi ko masabing super same, but medyo same. And then, kumbaga, Sino? <laughs> and kumbaga, kilala din siya. So, parang hindi may ah, iwasan. Ah, si Kat, si Katrin. Oh, so, kumbaga, <laughs> so, hindi may iwasan. Kumbaga, yun yung tinanggap ko na din na, ano eh, kumbaga, hindi, pag may time, or kung may instance man na magkita sila or magkausap sila, wala eh, ganun talaga. So, ano din, kumbaga, hindi rin naman ako yung ano sa mga exes si Mikey, hindi rin naman ako yung galit. Kasi parang ba't ako magagalit eh, kasalanan ni Mikey. <laughs> Totoo naman. Totoo naman. Hindi ko naman tatanggin like, yun. Siyempre, Totoo before naman, naman when, when we got together, pinakwento ko naman sa kanya lahat na nangyari. So para ba diba, kung baga alam ko <laughs> yung, kung... Yung, yung ex na tinutukoy mo, yun talaga kasalanan ko yun. Given yun. Pero yung, yung isa, yung iba, medyo hindi ko nakasalanan yun. Okay, anyway. So, okay. so yun. Doon so, galit tayo doon. <laughs> joke lang, joke lang, joke lang. So, basically, yung gusto ko lang sabihin is, when it comes to his exes, and syempre, dun sa isa na talagang mas may chance na either makausap. You wanna make kwento how, how you found out na ex ko siya? No na. Wag na kasi, they're gonna know na eh. So, let's they're gonna say, know? Your followers, babe. Aminin na natin. Most of our viewers right now are your followers. Ah, okay, and I think okay, okay. they know. So, in short lang, she didn't even know na ex ko yung girl na yon until kami na. Di ba? You didn't but even like, know. okay, yeah. so basically, yun na yun. So, um, what the, yan, nawala tuloy ako, babe. Uh, about excess, about excess. <laughs> so, yun, about excess, kumbaga sa amin, um, hindi namin siya ginagawang topic. Well, for letter sender, I don't know if you guys make him the topic, kaya napag-uusapan, or wala, wala naman nag nagbe-bring up unless talagang, kumbaga, wala eh, like, kung kailangan lang talaga. Oh, kung may pinagdadaanan kami. Kung kailangan and uh, then may pinagdadaanan um, kami. Ano pa ba? Kunyari Pinot may may chance ganon. Pero hindi Oh, kunyari may chance 'yan. I will tell her ano na straight up na kagad na babe, kinukuha ako dito. Hindi ko alam sino makakatrabaho ko. So just in case, alam mo na 'yon. So she also knows. Parang alala ko may isang event akong pupuntahan na dapat nandoon because I saw the list. And para sa akin, hindi masama yun. Because, ako ah, ito ah, mababa yung, I don't understand kung bakit mo kailangan maging prideful sa mga ganitong bagay. Na, bakit? Ako, ako I've reached a point in my life that I will run from conflict. I'm not gonna attack it head on if I don't need to. So, if... Conflict will happen and you can run from it or you can avoid it. I will definitely take that route. Kasi hindi na tayo dun sa point ng buhay natin na hindi. Gusto ko ng drama sa buhay ko. Hindi. So, off the bat, simula pa lang. Alamin mo na. Ayaw mo magka-conflict pagdating mo dun. So, when I saw the list, sinabi ko kay CK na, oh babe, baka makatrabaho ko may event. Kailangan pumunta, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. So, fine. It, it didn't happen um, it didn't happen because um, basta, hindi, hindi natuloy. So, mm -hmm. okay, cool. Walang conflict. But if there was conflict, when I say conflict, hindi naman mag-aaway. But then like, you know, magkikita, nandun si CK, pupunta si CK, magkakaroon ng something, interaction. So, I don't understand why you would deny it na parang, okay lang yun, okay lang. Hindi, diba? why not? Diba? But kung kailangan, hindi kailangan lahat tayong magagawa. Hindi tayo hindi Kung baga, ano naman, um, basically, what we're trying to say is with excess or with people from Um, our past, kumbaga kami, we can be civil to them. It's not something that we, um, kumbaga, Close hindi, doors. oo, kumbaga, Close hindi ko doors. pinagbabawalan si Mikey, hindi niya ako pinagbabawalan with anything from, uh, like, to interact with people from our past. Oo, oh, walang, kumbaga, kumbaga, alam mo yun, civil naman, it's civil just that, yung sa amin lang, with excess, or, again, with people from our past, it's just that, we, 
kami individually and as a couple, yung talagang sa amin lang is if, alam mo yun, if makasulubong mo, if nagkataon, di ba? Wala kang magagawa doon. You, we will be civil, but then yeah. we will not go the extra mile or we will not, kumbaga, do, kumbaga, hindi kami magtitake initiative mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. approach that person. Mm-hmm. And it's just mm-hmm. something na maybe sa iba, ano, kumbaga, sa ibang tao, pwede yun, or sa, sa ibang tao, okay sila doon. This is just something na me and Mikey kami, yun lang yun sa amin, kasi parang, If it happens, it happens. Yeah, kumbaga, but we won't, but for you to make, it happen, to make it happen, I think yun, that's a, for, for us, yeah. hindi acceptable yun. Yeah. So, I I read it again, and then, kasi I'm, Makasing cheese to date. Um, kesong puti. Oh, okay. Super syrup. Okay. So, binasa ko ulit yung letter niya. And, I remember I I was doing an IG live and someone asked how to move on daw. So, sinabi niya din kasi sa letter niya that he knows that the girl is still moving on from her ex. Mm. So, para sa akin, medyo naguluhan ako dun sa alam niya na nag-move on tapos nag-de-date. Maybe it's just me kasi pag pag inisip ko na nagde-date kumbaga ano na kayo eh um hindi naglumalabas pa lang ata sila oh uh, maybe doon sa sa situation nila lumalabas pa lang ganyan so with me kasi like dun sa sinabi sinabi ko to sa live ko na um ay yon alala ko na mas clear pa lang ngayon okay so sinabi niya kung what if daw yung kinakausap niya is hindi pa nakaka-move on from the ex. Okay, nakausap pa lang. Parang, oh, parang ito, ganun. Ito, date na eh. Parang, parang ganun. Something like that. I, I can't remember. Eh. <laughs> But then, for me, kasi sinabi ko, um, and I believe that in every re- relationship, communication is key. So, if feel mo na hindi pa siya nakaka-move on, and with her letter center, sinabi niya na alam niya na nag-move on pa lang, I think, na syempre, you should also give it to yourself to talk to the other person and to tell him or her na you don't feel comfortable, na kumbaga, na-hurt ka pa din pag napag-uusapan yung ex. Kasi, um, for me kasi, <coughs> you can't really love someone who loves someone else pa. Parang, it doesn't make sense. Kasi, alam mo yun, parang, ano pa, for me ah, it's, ang hirap magmahal ng taong may mahal pang iba. So, What do I try? Um, Clip that. Um, <laughs> to answer him, kasi sabi niya, the rebound, I don't think na intentionally ginagawa kang rebound. Like, hindi ko na, feeling ko naman na dahil, kasi, ano yun, I'm, I'm seeing it this way, na, alam niya na nandyan ka for her, and kinikwento niya lahat sa'yo, But I think she also thinks na you understand na nag-move on pa din siya. But that does not give her an excuse. Yeah nga, babe. That does But not give her nga, an excuse. But yun nga, kasi sinabi niya na gusto, gusto ni letter sender na open sila sa isa't isa. Mm-hmm. So, if you, <clears throat> and nabanggit mo na napag-uusapan niyo nga yung ex niya <clears throat> from before, and you that also... That is consciously, ah. Oo, kung mag nila. And our letter sender also. Namami kung baga, naman niya, namami ki- naman niya. Parang, um, inamin niya na pinag-uusapan nga uh-huh. nila. Maybe now it's just, you feel uncomfortable nga na mas nagiging frequent. Maybe it's that. Because you allow it, bro. Yeah, so for me, mm-hmm. you should talk to her and mm-hmm. you should tell her na kung baga, um, you don't feel comfortable kasi as much as you want to be there for her, wag mong i-invalidate na nasasaktan ka. Mm-hmm. she constantly talks about it or any person would constantly do something because you allow him or her to do so when I say allow hindi ko naman sinasabing you own the person pagbawala mo but kung nasasaktan ka sabihin mo ano ba talaga ano ba talaga gusto mo now here's the thing with exes it takes a certain type of maturity especially when you get older pag bata ka aminin natin to Pagbata ka, when I was younger, it was more often than not that you could find a girl with, or 
even pag girl tas looking at the guy both ways you would find someone whom basically fresh sa dating scene syempre kung bata ka eh kung 21 ka 22 it was still possible to find a girl or a guy that was walang ex konti pa lang when you, I don't know kung ilang taon na si emailer eh. We'll call him emailer para huwag naman natin masyadong <laughs> ano yun. So, but if you reach my age na 32, so ano lang ako, hindi, doesn't apply with me because I met someone who was 22. But if you reach an age na 25, 26, hanggang 30, hanggang 35 even, medyo mahirap na humanap ng girl or boy na walang ex. Mm-hmm. Medyo mahirap na, especially with the time, you know, with the times. So, it takes a different type of maturity to understand that na mahirap na humanap ng walang ex. And if that's your goal, ay maghanap ka. Hanap, alam, alam mo kung sa kamaghanap. But, if you like a person who is 27, 28, 29, 30, given na yun, may, may past yun. May past yun. So, the past, someone's past, you have to accept na there is a point in time na in love na in love siya dun sa taong yun. There yeah. was a point in time that he felt or she felt siya na. Hindi ikaw, kasi hindi kanya kilala eh, wala ka. So there was a point in time, di ba, straightforward, na I thought, ito na. Kung sino man yung girlfriend ko nung 21 ako, nung 20, hindi ko na alam kung ano yung mga 20s ko nun. Kung sino man yung girlfriend ko nung time na yun, I thought she was the one. Because obviously CK was, 11 when I was 21. <laughs> so, wala pa sa picture si CK nun. Nagano pa si CK nun. Nagba Barbie. So, when I was 21, I thought who the girl I was with during that time was the one. So, you have to accept that. That there was a time. And CK accepts that. There was a time that in my head, this is was this was the girl I was gonna marry. Mm-hmm. Ito na yung kasama ko, buong buhay ko. Ito na yung maging nanay ng mga anak ko. Diba? So, si CK... Kailangan niyo maintindihan yun. So, ikaw din kailangan mo maintindihan yun. But, yun na nga yung point ko eh. Sino ang mas importante ngayon? Yung ex ko o si CK? Si CK. So, why will I say something or bring something up that can possibly hurt her? And we cannot gauge someone's pain based on your uh, ano, um, tolerance. I cannot tell CK, grabe ka naman, sinabi ko lang na dito kami kumain, na hurt ka na. Hindi pwede. Gaslighting. Gaslighting yun, di ba? Mm-hmm. Gaslighting yun, di ba? Mm-hmm. So, I cannot, kunya, kumbaga ako, alam ni CK to medyo mas, hindi ako nagsiselos eh. So, minsan, ako pa mismo yun, uy, babe, I mean, mas hindi. Hindi ko sinasabing totally hindi, pero mas hindi. Mm-hmm. Di ba, minsan parang, oh babe, di ba yun yung narate mo dati? Aasarin ko pa siyang ganun. Because my tolerance for it, medyo nandun na ako sa point na parang, Okay, whatever. Pero hindi ko rin pwedeng expect na ganun din si CK. So, if it's normal for me, hindi ko pwedeng tingin na, ano, na siya din ganun. So, I cannot just blurt names out or blurt experiences out with a different girl and think na, eh, kung di ako nasasaktan, dapat di ka rin masaktan. Hindi ganun. So, para sa akin, kung talagang nasasaktan ka, bro, you allow her din kasi. Allow her. O, pag usap pinag-uusapan niya yung ex niya, bro. Medyo, ang mangyayari sa'yo dyan, best friend material ka, bro. Hindi mm. ka boyfriend. Nagiging shoulder to cry on ka. Nagiging pang vent ka. There's a difference, okay, I'm gonna say this, hopefully hindi ako makancel dito. There's a difference between a guy that you will run to to vent and the guy you will run to because Because, uh, how do you say it in nice terms? You know what I'm saying? No, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Hindi ko alam kasi, ano know, na yun eh, cancelable I'm, na ako eh. Pero, I'm trying to guess what No, there's a, there's a, there's a difference between a guy that you will go to. Mm-hmm. Kanyari, you're hurting. Mm-hmm. Kanyari, sinaktang kita, babe. Mm-hmm. Kanyari, naghiwalay tayo, babe. Mm-hmm. There's a difference between a guy you will go to because kailangan mo ng kakwentuhan mm-hmm. and a guy you will go to because gusto mo akong makalimutan. Uh, for some people, baka nga may gano'n. Oh, diba? Like, you just broke up with someone. Mm-mm. Ito ah, serious to. Kanyari, nung 
nakilala mo ako, kaka-break mo lang. Oh. Mm. Hiwalay kayo. Mm. There's a difference between you going mm. to that same guy that you were talking the last episode na mm-hmm. sobrang close ninyo na walang mali siya. Mm-hmm. Anong gagawin mo pag na-meet mo yung guy na yun? Ay, pag nakita kayo ng guy na yun for dinner. Kunyari, gusto mo maglasing. Mm. Tapos may message mo yung same guy na last episode na bro mo. Di ba? Bro mo yun? Oh. Mm. Bro, inom tayo please. Kailangan ko may magsala akong maglasing. Mm. Anong gagawin niya? mag kayo about your ex. Tapos mag vent out ka sa kanya. Na, Hindi, kasi dapat ito yung ginagawa mm-hmm. niya. Di ba? mag out. Kasi mm-hmm. bro mo siya eh. Mm-hmm. That same guy that you met with me, 30, mm-hmm. 30 na ako, mag-30 na ako noon, di ba? Mm-hmm. You asked me, inom tayo. Mm-hmm. Do you honestly think pag-uusapan natin ex mo or mag enjoy ka with me para makalimutan mo siya? You see the difference lang of mm-hmm. how you look at this guy is for, para makalimutan ko yung ex ko, dito ko. <laughs> Kasi, no, 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 no. I, I get, get you it, naman. I get you. So if um, I talk But it doesn't your, apply to everyone now. Ah. We're, we're everyone. saying lang Kami-kami na Kami-kami lang to. Kwentuhan lang to. May, may ganong tao. Oh, oh. So, ako, if I want you to forget about your ex, huwag natin pag-usapan yung ex mo, girl. Alam mo bakit? Huwag natin pag-usapan. I will give you a fun time. Not not just ano, not just physical but then like mag-enjoy tayo makakalimutan mo yan in the process. So, yun yung difference. So, if you continue to allow her to be comfortable talking about her ex with you. Parang ang dating noon, they spread material ka, bro. Medyo nandoon ka sa friend zone na parang ang mangyayari diyan pag na may na-meet siya. You you have to stand your ground. Women, I don't want to say in ways na parang maano ko, pero sometimes women want a guy who is in control. Tama mali? Mm-hmm. Some. Some. Let's just say some. Para lang man walang maano. Some, mm-hmm. di ba? Mm-hmm. Gusto mo medyo may in control. Medyo may put his foot down factor. Mm-hmm. Hindi ko sinasabing magiging sunod-sunurin ng babae, pero mm-hmm. may time na put your foot down. Mm-hmm. Di ba? Kasi gusto mo ba magkasawa na hindi kaya put yung foot down? Gusto ba magkaasawa na pag may problema kayo, hindi niya kaya? Hindi, sige, babe, ako nang bahala. Mm. Honestly. Di ba? Maybe old school, whatever. So, kung hindi mo kaya dun pa lang, na parang ano ka na sa kanya na, ah, pag-usapan natin ex mo, oh, ano nangyari, babe? Ay, ginanong kanya dati. Dapat ganito. Di ba? Yeah. Di ba yung, I know, nag-move on ka. Tulungan kita mag-move on. Sabi, tumanapin ka. No, okay. Tulungan kita mag-move on. Akong bahala sa'yo. Kalimutan mo na yan. Oh, versus, may, may mga, babe, pag-usapan natin. May yan. mga ganun, guys. Yes. <laughs> okay, so, I I remember someone, I I know someone who is exactly like our emailer. So, I get, I get where you're coming from. Na, syempre, di ba, kumbaga, hindi lahat ng tao, hindi lahat wala, ng, wala ba yan? Saan ba ba? Um, hindi lahat ng tao, hindi lahat ng lalaki, katulad ni Mikey na, I'll make you forget. Some guys, let's just admit it, and it's it's personality, ani. Eh. Kung baga, it's it's something that Mikey would do. Bigay na natin sa kanya personality. Oi, wag niyo isipin na when I say I'll help you forget, kamanya ka na. Don't think that. No, it's just oh, okay. parang no, no, kung baga no, no. magdating pag-usapan, puti, tara, let's go, let's watch a movie, let's do this, let's do that. Uh-huh. Pero wag na tayo upo dito at pag-usapan ng ex mo. Mag-bowling tayo, mag-billiard tayo. Oh, hindi, no, no, no. Hindi babe. naman ibig sabihin. Hindi. Baka isipin babe. ka naman niyakis ako, babe. Mukha babe. ba ako manyakis? Babe, ikaw lang. Ikaw Kamu lang. Naman, na... Nakapolo ako ngayon, guys. So, para presentable okay, tayo. Okay, okay, okay. Ito na naman po si Mikey. Sorry, na sorry, sorry. Go, go, bigla, go, go. Biglang go, 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 energetic. Go, go, go. Okay, babe. <laughs> hindi naman nila hiniisip. <laughs> hindi rin naman lahat. Hindi. 80% ng mga kalalaki yan siya hiniisip yan. Okay, so, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, so if ganon ang naisip niyo, then ayan, sabi ni Mikey, hindi. So I'm uh, what I'm saying also is hindi yung personality ni Mikey is ganun nga, hindi siya yung will um kumbaga try to comfort you w- w- by bringing up um your ex ganyan. No, b- babe, because you need to understand also na some people talagang very comforting sila, they would want you to go through Ay, that. Ay, mo. Oh, kasi ako personally, parang ako, hindi lang bilang babae, but as, as someone, oh, I would let out, you... Babe. I understand ano? what you're saying. Oh. Labas mo. Tama oh. yun. But wouldn't I want you to 
kung kailangan mo ilabas, wag with nga, me. Oo wait nga lang, sorry, sorry, babe. Sorry, sorry, wait nga lang. Nagiging passionate eh. Go, 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 go. go. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll put it down. <laughs> Ito, put it down muna para you don't interrupt me. <laughs> wait, <laughs> si, si Mikey kasi, guys, eto yan ah. Pag ginaganan ko naman siya, hindi naman ako napipikon, guys. Talaga natatawa lang ako kasi hindi ka talaga niya patatapusin. Pero parehas na kayo na iniisip. Okay, so anyway, yung sinasabi ko is, me as a person, I would I would <clears throat> validate your um, your pain, whatever you're feeling, pwedeng pag-usapan, ganyan. My, my boys na ganun din, they would do the same thing. Um, I think for our emailer and for a friend of mine, na ganun din talaga, as in same, sobrang same, I think na yung way of approaching nila dun sa nararamdaman ng girl is to be there for her. And um, with my friend, and I hope this is the same with you, I hope na you made it clear also to the girl that you feel, kumbaga, na you like her or you feel something for her. I hope you did because my friend did. So, kumbaga, my, my friend acknowledged that the girl was was still in the process of moving on. And so, when... He was very patient. It took... um He was very patient with the girl for like months then. Parang ang alam ko, almost the same six months. Parang ganun din yung time. But then he also had to do it for himself. Now, there came a point in... Parang within those six months, nasabi niya na... He asked also na kumbaga... He asked if, um, sabi niya na, do you think um, ma- mababawasan ba natin yung like pag-mention ni- kay X? Or do you think anytime soon makaka-move on ka and you would see yourself? So he put his foot down. Oo nga. So yun nga. Babe, doon ako papunta. Wait lang. Pakwento lang ng kon. <laughs> so, for me, kumbaga, may... Sa friend ko, dumating din talaga siya sa point na kumbaga tinigil niya yung pagkamartir niya kasi sinasabi din niya na nasasaktan din siya. So nung kumbaga sa kanya sumobra na and maybe for you, maybe kaya ka nagtatanong kasi nandun ka na sa yeah, yeah. ano ka na sa edge. edge. So ang ginawa niya, what we also told him to do was kumbaga to talk to the girl, to ask the girl na um, do you think na Kumbaga, since alam mo eh, alam mo na gusto kita, alam mo na nandito ako for you, do you think I will ever be parang the guy for you? Or do you think makaka-move on ka na ba from, from your ex? So, sinagot siya ng isa naming friend and sinabi niya na hindi pa. Wait, so, wait. sinabi ng girl hindi pa? Hindi pa. So, after all those months? Hindi, kumbaga babe. Hindi mo din pwedeng anuhin. Hindi ko ini-invalidate so yung moving you on stage ng girl. Oh, Never ko invalidate yun. What yan. are you trying to say? What I'm trying to say is, you don't invalidate someone's moving on stage. Oh. Now, if you if you uh, coincidentally meet a girl who is still moving on mm-hmm. and you still wanna shoot your shot, go mm-hmm. ahead. Mm-hmm. Pero, yun yung sinasabi ko. You could have done it from the start. What do you mean? You couldn't... Pwedeng hindi ka nagsayang ng ilang buwan. Babe, pero yun nga, love. Yun nga yung sinasabi ko. That not all people think like you. Oh, okay. sorry, not sorry, all sorry. guys would feel that way, di ba? Some people would take the other... Kumbaga, kung ikaw, diretso ko, ano, parang... Um, di ba, sa'yo kasi, kumbaga, hindi mo ipapaalala. And at the time same... Out, time out, time out, So, sinabi ng girl na... So, binasted niya. Okay, so, eto ah. Wait lang. Oh my gosh. Yung, yung, yung kweto ko putol-putol, babe. Sorry, sorry. Okay, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish muna. <laughs> okay. So, sinabi ng girl, hindi. So, the guy accepted it. And kumbaga, ano naman kasi, yung sa kanila ha, yung sa friend ko, yung nangyari sa kanila was, the girl was also trying. We knew that the girl was, kumbaga, she was acknowledging our friend who was trying to court her. But then, reality check, and kumbaga siya din sa sarili niya, na, alam mo yun, yung girl kasi sinabi sa amin na na-appreciate niya yung guy, but then, nag, na, kumbaga, nangingibabaw pa din yung feelings for the ex. So, they stopped talking. So, um, tumigil sila mag-usap. Hindi na sila, the, the guy also talagang, he made, um, parang he also put his foot down, hindi siya nagparamdam or anything. Gumana. Oo, gumana siya, but 
alam mo yun, parang what I'm trying to get to here lang is, I hope that our emailer after siguro maybe hearing this or because he asked it, he didn't know that what to do. I I would want you to talk to the girl and to, kumbaga, again, to ask to put your foot down. And alam mo yun, do something for yourself naman. Yeah, and, and I think the girl would also understand. And you should be ready. Kung talagang sabihin ng girl na hindi pa siya moved on, you should be ready. Mm-mm. You should be ready with the pain. Kasi masakit yan, for sure. Di ba? So, y- nagkabalikan yung friend mo. Uh, I mean, oh. naging okay sila. Mm-mm. So, ngayon sila. Mm-mm. So, nung iniwan, oh, ako, ito, ito, totoo din ito eh. Ito, uh, gusto mo, mas, mas pagandain natin yung story ng friend ko. Pa- paano pa pagandain? So, the hey, girl... Kahit story natin, pwede natin apply dito eh. No, not that. Iba to eh. This one, tumigil sila mag-usap, the girl saw the ex again. Wala and na. And then, nung nakita Wala niya, na doon niya na-realize na what, na mas, parang kumbaga ano siya eh, naging hung up siya doon sa, thought nung ex niya. Sa buong niya. relationship yeah, 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 nila yeah. ni ex. Tama, so, tama. nung nakita niya ulit si ex, tama. wala na pala. Kumbaga, wala na pala. Hmm. And then doon niya na-realize na yung mga, lahat na nang-appreciate niya doon sa guy, doon sa friend ko na guy na nagtatry manigaw sa kanya. Kumbaga, ano lang talaga siya, na na-overpower lang talaga siya nung... Because nawala, babe. Nung memories. Yun nga. Because nawala. You don't know someone's worth until he, she, he is gone. So, again, which is still the same advice that I have for the emailer, you have to do something about it. Because, like yung friend mo, kung tinuloy lang niya yun, pustahan tayo kahit na-meet niya ex niya, hindi pa niya ma-appreciate yung friend mo eh. Kasi na-appreciate niya kasi nawala. Mm-hmm. So, once nawala, dun mo marirealize na wait, yun yun na, Yun na pala yun. Mahal ko pala yun. Gusto ko pala yun. Pero pag nandyan lang, that's why I'm saying, if you allow yourself to be in conversations na pinag-uusapan lagi yung ex, if you don't put your foot down, which I commend your, no, finally, after how many months, he put his foot down. Now, wait, nasasaktan na ako eh. So, kung nasasaktan na ako, gagawa naman natin ng paraan. Hindi pwedeng one-way street to. Mm-mm. Hindi pwedeng, I will accept that you are trying to move on. Mm-mm. I will, I will, um, entertain your feelings and consider your feelings but you won't consider mine and you mm-hmm. cannot use that as a as a weapon na ikaka eh, lang namin eh ay kung mahal mo talaga ako gusto mo akong mag-move on you could allow me to oh wait lang so ako paano ko mm-hmm. yeah it's a two way street di ba yeah. so once he put his, his foot down biglang nagbago nagbago eto ah i read this from a book i feel it's like the rules of people ayun the rules of people you cannot change someone's mind or force someone to think differently or do something different from what he knows and what he thinks is right through words. Mm. There needs to be a life-changing scenario, a life-changing scene in his life, her life, for her or him to to uh, na siya mismo magbabago. Alam mo yung laging sinasabi na, si, takal-takal ko sinasabi sa'yo, ba't kayong ka lang nagbago? Kasi may nangyari. Kasi may nangyari na siya mismo. Words can only go so far. So, you cannot tell a basketball player, huy, mag-stretching ka bago maglaro. Huy, mag-stretching ka bago maglaro. Make sure you stretch, make sure you warm up before you play. I, I, I kid you not, sigurado ako 99% of the time. Hindi niya gagawin yan just because you told him to. Pero once ma-injure yan, nakuputing na mo. Life-changing, magbabago yan. Biglang nagwa-warm up na yan at nagsistretching na yan. So, what I'm saying is, hindi pwedeng puro words. Hindi pwedeng puro, pag-usapan natin yung ex mo. Hindi pwede. You gotta, mm-hmm. wait lang ha. Kasi, hindi na two-way street eh. Mm-hmm. Ang sa akin lang, babe, you know what my biggest question is? Yung sa girl friend mo. Mm. So, she knew all along na ayaw niya si Guy? No. Pero she maga. knew all along na medyo doon pa din ako sa ex ko eh. Mm-mm. So if she, if he didn't put his foot down, tutuloy lang yun. I think Hindi so. ba mali kasi din yung girl yun, doon? Kasi kung pa- Parang pinaasa mo yung guy? Babe, babe, ito yun ah. Um, hindi ko din defend dahil kay bigan ko. But oh. see it this way. The guy was, as I told kanina, my guy friend was letting her vent. 
'di ba? Kumbaga hinahayaan kasi nung guy. So the girl also felt na okay lang. Mm. And at the same time since alam ni girl and sinabi din ni guy na gusto niya nga yung girl ko na friend. Kumbaga si girl naman on her part. Hindi naman niya ini-invalidate eh. Like hindi niya ini-invalidate yung feelings ni boy. Hindi. Akala lang niya okay we, lang. Kumbaga, we knew that she was also trying to move on and at the same time, she was acknowledging our guy friend's efforts. But then, again, yun nga, which is something na hindi mo din, kumbaga, understandable yun eh. Hindi pa talaga siya makaget over dun sa, um, sa ex. Especially, eto factor na maybe sa kanila lang, Il- kumbaga years din kasi yung binilang years nung relationship nung ex, nung ex. Ay, ex. Oh. so kumbaga ibigay na natin sa kanya talagang ikaw na natin, ba hindi ko na invalidate yun nga invalidate. so um, if you're asking me if mali din si girl sa akin kasi hinayaan din kasi siya nung guy friend ko na mag vent so when si guy because the guy likes you kaya nga, but he made her feel na okay lang. Ngayon, so, itong nga si Guy, di ba? So, yun yung sinasabi ko. Mali ko. <laughs> so, yun yung sinasabi ko, babe, na kumbaga, hinayaan niya, hinayaan she, mo eh. um, he made the girl feel na okay lang na mag-vent hmm. ganito, ganyan. At first, hindi niya sinasabi na nasasaktan siya, which is something also that I told him na mali mo yan. Kasi yeah. dapat, doon sa, especially if, Let's say, dito sa emailer natin, sabi niya, siya ang nagsabi doon sa girl na gusto niya, sa kanilang dalawa, sasabihin nila lahat. Pero bakit tong na uncomf- nung uncomfy ka na doon sa nangyayari? Bakit Binabawi mo na. Mo pasin- But, I mean, bakit hindi mo pa sinasabi? Ade, in, bakit ikaw mismo? Yun nga yung mali din. Yun nga. Ikaw nagsabi na pwede, tapos nung ginagawa na nung girl, na hurt ka naman. Oo, so, oo obviously, nga. nung start pa lang, alam mo hindi pwede. You only, you only use that move Because you thought it would work to y- in your favor na pag naging crying shoulder mo ko, baka lumambot ka sa akin. Well, it backfired, obviously. Well, for them. Yeah, diba? So, ano naman yan? Maybe some couples had um, in a way the same na mas comforting, mas, mas ano yung naging approach ni Guy and it worked. But again, for this one, and if you told her na you want um, you guys to be open to each other, I would suggest that you would also be open to her about what you're feeling. Kumbaga, as much as you invalidate her pain, please validate. I, Your uh, own as pain. Much, uh, as much as you validate her, her pain. pain and her, kumbaga, yung, yung grief niya of... Kumbaga, so, um, you can't blame oh, the girl, no? Kasi hindi naman sa, hin- hindi naman sa ini-invalidate niya yung guy. Hindi. Yun lang talaga yung pinaramdam oh, ng guy. Oh, ah, kumbaga, tama, if, tama, tama. If you made her feel na okay lang, it is oh, ite, very... Tutuloy niya yun. This is very... Kumbaga, similar to my friends. Kung hinayaan nyo kasi siya to feel na okay lang. And kumbaga, kung napag-uusapan nyo, nakikipag, nagko-converse ka sa kanya regarding the ex, syempre, she would feel na okay lang. And then now that you are hurting, I, yun nga, I suggest that you also tell her. Kasi kumbaga, ano yan eh, um, what Mikey was saying, two-way street. Two-way street. You, you validate her pain. Um, she should validate yours yeah. as well. Yeah. And you should validate your pain as well. Kasi, kumbaga, ano yun eh, um, yeah. she will never know she na never nasasaktan know. ka lang. She will, hindi, hindi niya mahuhulaan yan until sabihin mo, and especially if you are allowing her nga to, to feel that way. Na kum, Magiging I mean, crying shoulder ka talaga. Oo. Oh, oh. Yun talaga yun. It's not different from someone like si Jor Dalawa, lalaki babae, tas nag-agree sila na fubo lang tayo. Tapos bigla lumalabas na si guy with other girls or lumalabas na si girl with other guys tapos bigla ka nagselos. Tapos biglang, sandali lang, akala mo okay lang. So ba't ngayon bigla ka nasasaktan? So if you don't be honest with that and you have to be honest with yourself, wag, baba mo yung pride mo na parang, akala ko okay lang eh. Pero baka isipin niya. Diba? Baba mo yung pride mo, you have to be honest with yourself. Akala mo siguro okay lang din nung start. But then after a while, hindi na siya okay. So ngayon na hindi na siya okay, you have to be honest with yourself. Na, okay, nagkamali ako doon because I allowed her to be so comfortable with about talking uh, with talking about her ex. Okay, wait, I need to switch this up and talk to her about it and yeah. kind of change this. Diba? Yeah. So, so I guess, um, I think th- that's it naman like, with what we have to say yeah. regarding... Mm, pero, there are different ano din eh, ways of moving on. Eh. Iba-iba ang tao, di ba? Yung iba... Like what I was saying kanina, ako, huwag natin pag-usapan. Mm-hmm. Kasi pag pinag-usapan natin, or talk to 
someone else about it. Not me. Because I don't Yun want... Yun nga, babe. Uh, but this know, is... Iba-iba nga. Iba-iba nga. Eh. Iba-iba. So, ang sinasabi ko nga, iba-iba. Oh. So, kung yung way of coping up with it is sharing stories, when is that line na parang, okay, are you trying to move on or are you just here because it's convenient? Are you still trying to move Who on? Who are you asking? No, like in general, like kanyari si emailer. Kanyari lang, I don't want to invalidate kasi the girl's feelings eh. So kung ang way niya of coping up with the ex is to be open with the guy, open to a guy about it or with a guy about it, then I don't want to invalidate that. So kung talagang ang coping up mechanism niya is to constantly talk about him and constantly, you know, bring up experiences and, you know, analyzing kung ano nangyari, then that's on her. But when is that line na Sandali lang, ano ba? Like, are we still using this as your coping mechanism? Or hindi ka lang na talaga makamove nga, on? babe. We, tayo na nagsabi noon kanina, di ba? Yeah. Na kapag nasasaktan hindi, ka... Hindi, hindi, I'm talking about the girl. So you're asking the girl? No, hindi. Like, in general, like, if a girl looks at... You will never... Like, kunyari kayo, kayo. Babe. I'm asking, kunyari kayo, as a girl. Oh. Di ba gusto niyo yung nagkakwentuhan kayo with other oh. girls? Oh. O kunyari, kayo kayo ng mga girlfriends ninyo, pagkwento mm-hmm. natin yung ex ni ganyan, o ikaw, yung ex mo, mag-move on ka. That's a coping mechanism. Tama, di ba? Girl talk. Coping mechanism yun eh. Nung kayo ng friends mo, girls. O, pagkwento natin ex ko. When is it na it's still a coping mechanism versus abay, hindi mo na... Kasi a coping mechanism means you're trying to move on. No, I, I get what you're trying to say. Yeah. So but are you just then, coping up with it or are you just really then, not be able babe, to move on? I I can't answer that. Okay, and it are. it's different for for every person because iba-iba yung iba-iba yung ano eh, yung kumbaga um what do you call this? Um uh iba-iba yung kumbaga yung end ng grief or ng moving on mm. for every person. So you can't if Di ba nagwo-wonder ka ngayon? You are wondering, when will that end na yung coping mechanism mo is to keep um, remembering the ex? Hindi natin masasagot, hindi rin natin yan mafi-figure uh. out, babe. Because it it's different for every person. Sometimes may nangyayari sa kanila. Sometimes nagigising ka na lang and then nare-realize mo, okay, tama na. Yeah. Sometimes naman, kumbaga, you were forced to really move on by other people. So, yeah. We will never know. Kumbaga, um, I think for, for our emailer, wag mo na ding i-try i-figure out when it will stop. So, Ikaw na do, stop, do something. <laughs> Hopefully, um, what happened with my friend is, um, kumbaga, mag-work for you or mag-work sa inyo. But sa ngayon, di ba, um, if I were you, unahin mo na lang muna yung sarili mo. Lalo na if, na, if hurting ka na din because of what's happening. Yeah. Kumbaga, um, bigay mo na din sa sarili mo na hindi mo Waga naman siya... Martir, bro. Hindi mo naman siya pinabayaan and hindi mo to... You're not selfish for doing this na kumbaga tatanungin mo siya and if hindi talaga aalis ka, hindi mo kasalanan yon or hindi yon masama. This is something that you have to do for yourself. And at the same time, maybe it is something that you have to do for the girl as well. It's, it's a two-way street. Kung hindi niya kasalanan, na you met her at a time that she was vulnerable and she hasn't moved on and she's hurting. Hindi niya kasalanan yun, you shouldn't invalidate her feelings. Kung talagang hindi kaya, hindi kaya. But you also shouldn't invalidate yours. Mm-hmm. Na, porket gusto ko siya, she's in that point of her life na she's figuring things out, masasaktan ako, pero gusto ko siya eh, so okay na lang masaktan ako. Mm-hmm. Wag martyr, bro. Yeah. Wag martyr. Wag martyr. So, so yun yung yeah. ano namin. And, uh, I don't know. Hopefully, it helps. Hopefully, it was a good conversation. Yeah. Again, all these are points and our thoughts are ours. It's mm-hmm. fine for us to disagree. Pero don't take our 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 words as, you know, dito galing sa Biblia na parang mm-hmm. ipapaku. Ipapaku na, nyo kami oh. na, gagi pala kayo. Gagi, gagi, gagi. Hindi. Like, that was our thoughts. We would love to hear from you. Maybe on the comment section. Hopefully, our mm-hmm. comment section never turns toxic. Because, you know, my comment section is shoot first. I don't even read it anymore because it's super toxic. Hopefully, it doesn't turn toxic here. This is all just kwentuhan between, you know, wala lang kami magawa, to be honest. Yeah. So, okay, kwentuhan lang tayo. This. Hopefully, you had a good, uh, you enjoyed this episode. Please follow us on all social media platforms. And to our emailer, bro, gawin mo na ng paraan.
I hope after you watch this episode, you email us again, you tell us what you... Totoo! Sabi, i-update mo kami kung ano mangyayari. Pero trust me, ah. Ano to? Ano nangyayari? Sumabra ka doon, babe. Ah, sorry. It's my turn, guys. Pero, ano, <laughs> pwede nating anuhin na it works. Yung bigla kang kakambyo, bigla kang mawawala. Ay, naku po. That works, bro. It works! It works for Bigla kang kakambyo. Again, Words cannot change a person. Cannot change how a person thinks. I really believe that. Words, especially life experiences. Yung mga lessons, math, yan, sige, words lang talaga yan. Pero experiences in life, life-changing experiences ang magbabago. Hindi words. So, mm-hmm. yun. Love you. So, yeah. Love you. Did you enjoy? Sorry. <laughs> Bilis lang. lang siya, Uy, guy. mabilis lang yung... Yung episode namin today, Melo, mabilis lang yun. Alright, hopefully y'all, y'all had a good time. We did. So hopefully, join us again sa next conversation namin. Yeah, and again, to those who want to send us their kwentos or if they have questions as well as your emailer kanina, he asked if rebound. Ay, so you can wait, email wait, us. Wait, wait, So, hindi siya rebound. Yeah, Diga rebound, bro. Diga rebound. Ano ka? You're not rebound or not rebound. Your iba boyfriend ka ba? Will she look at you as the next or does she look at you as a shoulder to cry on? Yun yung ano mo. Hindi ka rebound. Trust me, hindi ka rebound. Yeah. Are you gonna be the one or are you just gonna be that guy who's super nice to me and I vented out to him a lot of times when I was hurting. Yun yung option mo, yung dalawang yun. So yeah. hopefully you find a chance to get to the side na gusto mo. Okay, so again, to those who want to share their cuentos or if they have questions or anything, really, you can send it at tbh.ckmikey at, gmail, at gmail.com and then you can also comment or message us. Um, yeah. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. And again, please, let's keep the comment section and also, of sa mga clips also, let's keep it um, kumbaga, a healthy environment because I can't yet. I can't yet with the hate comments. I cannot. Yeah. I'm used to it, but yeah. Can we please be a little nicer? Okay. So, yeah. Thank you very much, guys, and we'll see you again next time on TBH. Bye. 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 Bye.